Welcome back to another edition of Maverick Minute presented by Duncan. I'm your host, Marissa Voss. The boys are taking on the number two team in the nation, the St. Cloud State Huskies at home. With reviewing how they did at UMass and looking forward to the series, we've got a lot to unpack, so let's dive right in. Let's talk a little bit about Dryden McKay. We know we've mentioned him a lot, and how can you not? He is tied right now with 26 career shutouts with Ryan Miller, one shutout away from you know, getting first. Um, how do you feel though as a forward to have such a brick wall behind him and knowing that he is such a calming force in front of the net for you guys? I'm joined by the man of the hour, Dryden McKay. We all know where this is going. You are the new record holder, 27 career shutouts. How did it feel in that moment though when you knew you made history? Your Minnesota State Mavericks swept the defending national champions, UMass Minutemen. Saturday night, Dryden McKay notched 18 saves as the Mavs won 2 0. We are going to be talking about the clear bag policy that you're going to need for tonight's game against SCSU. So, Scott, let's just talk about this bag and um, really who's going to get it. First 500 fans, is that correct? Yeah. For You've been in the situation before at UMass going down 3 0. What do you got to do to ignite a comeback? The last question, bonus question, but pretty fun one in my eyes. Um, I asked Parker this or I asked Dryden this a couple years ago, um, who would be the best DJ on the team? Hey Maverick fans, I'm Marissa Voss. I'm dressed a little differently because it's costume night. We're getting into spooky season. I'm Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family and we got the herd here. What's up guys? Alright, alright. So who are we dressed up as tonight? Hey Maverick fans, I'm Marissa Voss and I'm joined by our own head coach Mike Hastings. Coach, this weekend we got Hockey Fights Cancer and you've had a uh, not a battle of your own with cancer, but you've had it in your family. Tell me about those experiences. A lot of love. I was right there beside you guys. All of the guys were super happy for you. What does it feel to have a team that's so supportive of you and everything that you do? 3-1, really hot start to the first period. It looks like BGSU is coming on a little bit stronger. What do you got to do to maybe get up some more goals and ramp up some more speed? Coach Hastings knows pulling off a sweep or even a one-game win will be easier said than done. That means they have to be ready when the puck drops. There's been like five or six power plays. We've lost track. Um, I feel like there's going to be more coming. What do you got to do in those moments during the power play to really take advantage of what the Wildcats are giving you? Uh, we just got a pretty tough schedule. I think the bye week was really necessary. But as we went back, just looking at everyone you've played, it's looking like you're playing mid-form right now. It's looking like mid-season, and it's the beginning of the season. Do you think that this tough start to the season really gets you going and kind of excels you through the rest of the schedule? That's all for this edition of Maverick Minute. Come back next week where we'll be debriefing BGSU series. We're also going to be talking about a special series between St. Thomas. On Thursday, November 18th, we are at home ice, but on November 20th, we are going to their home ice. This episode and the Mavericks run on Duncan.